What's going on YouTube, GFNoid here. iOS 18 is packed with various features that bring you even closer to a jailbroken device on stock iOS than ever before. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best features in iOS 18 that are definitely worth updating. In some cases, even if you are jailbroken on a very old version, they are still worth it. So we're gonna get into it. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to fix your device easily if it's stuck in a boot loop or Apple logo but it also allows you to downgrade easily from iOS 18 beta back to iOS 17 if you don't like the experience. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So let's get into the iOS 18 features. Okay, so one of the best features in iOS 18 has to be the new control center. So in iOS 18, they completely redesigned it. It has pages now, as you can see from here, and it's actually quite nice, but do you know how you customize it? Do you know how to add more features to it? Because you can't just go in settings anymore and just add new panels, no. Now the customization is done by holding outside of the controls, something like this, and you get this kind of layout which kind of looks like the one from the home screen and you have the add control option over here much better much slicker and you can see all the controls available now with iOS 18 what they introduced is that applications can have their own control center items in here so if you have applications installed they can add little buttons in here and maybe even full views like the focus one or maybe the connectivity one over there so your applications can have individual controls in the control center for example we have the music application which shows this over here so you can tap it and it will be added over there now you can see you can make them bigger and smaller and make them fit properly so I'm gonna move this one over here this one is now full size if I want to make it a little bit smaller I can do so and it fits snugly in there and you can even move them to different pages now this is great because you can change the order now and they can have a bigger order smaller order you can see over here that I can create an entire page only with connectivity while also maintaining some of the features on the other pages so this is definitely nice it's a nice feature that they added and I'm definitely glad they did because you used to be able to do this with a jailbreak nowadays you can do this with stock iOS okay so the second best feature introduced in iOS 18 and probably also inspired by jailbreak tweaks is the fact that now you can lock individual applications with face ID which means that if I hand over my phone to a friend or somebody to see a picture play a game whatever they cannot snoop on my messages or photos or anything anymore to do that you just tap and hold an application that you want to log and you should be able to have the option to require face id for example i want free form in here to be locked so i'm going to tap and hold on it and require face id press require face id and that's about it this application will now require face id check this out i open it and it says face id required once i show my face i'm back into the application no problem so if you don't want to require face id anymore you just tap and hold and don't require face id you will show your face and that's it the application just opens normally now this is great if you want to protect your messages or your photos or even the settings maybe you don't want people to be able to easily erase your phone we all know what kind of friends we have sometimes that uh, play a prank on us by erasing all the data on our phones so this is to protect your own data all right so the next feature has to do with the lock screen and the lock screen has also been redesigned slightly now if you hold in here and go to customize mode you of course have the lock screen option over here but you can also change the icons that you have over here so instead of the flashlight and the camera in the corners now you can actually change what you have in there so for example for the camera you can tap in here and choose anything you want you can also choose anything you want instead of the flashlight so i'm going to press plus over here and you can select between calculator and translate and dark mode timer stopwatch scan qr codes whatever but there are a couple of things that you can do in here for example you can activate an alarm and turn on airplane mode cellular data stuff like that and i assume applications might be able to have this kind of stuff in the future there is even a dedicated recognized music button which i believe uses shazam if you want to create a dedicated shazam button now you can or if you want to create for example a dedicated calculator button now you can you tap the calculator button you press done and now you go back to the lock screen and there we go my lock screen now has a dedicated calculator button which i can definitely open by tapping and holding all right the next one you may not find very interesting but i do believe it's a useful feature in ios 18 they finally moved the settings section with the applications into its proper section and it's not 
all the applications in bulk in here at the end of the settings panel. So now if you go here in settings, it's much more organized. You go here, you have an apps section, you tap on it and they are alphabetically sorted. So you can see all the applications installed on the device. There is a search bar for you to search on them. For example, calculator, and it looks like this. And then you can tap the application and you know do all the settings for each application individually. They used to be all put in here at the end of the settings panel. So after wallet, and you would have a huge list of applications to scroll through, making the settings pretty bulky. Now they are all in their own apps container, searchable, alphabetically ordered, pretty good stuff. And go ahead and here, change the individual settings for each application. It's a nice touch to make the settings look much less cluttered. And last but not least, a feature that I definitely love and has been around in jailbreaking for a while, but it's nice to see it in stock iOS, is the ability to put the applications wherever you want, making for very good setups. If I want to basically move the journal application all the way in here, I'm going to hold it and move it. And now, as you can see, you can have applications that do not respect the grid. So they don't have to snap one after the other anymore. You can place applications in various corners of the device, creating pretty neat setups like this one. So I can easily move it like this and leave that portion empty. You used to not be able to do this on iOS, but now you can, which means that you can now show your wallpaper better or frame it in a way that maybe somebody important for you is showing up and it's not covered by application icons. Pretty neat stuff. I know Android had this for a long, long time. It's finally creeping into iOS as well. So there you have it. Some of the best features introduced in iOS 18. If you want to check out more of what you should expect from iOS 18, I do have an article here on iDeviceCentral.com. It will be linked below. And this one contains everything that I missed in this video, like RCS support and some of the home screen customizations, the enhancements to Siri, which you know includes generative AI and stuff like that, enhancements to Apple Maps and maybe other stuff. So definitely check out the article because we didn't cover everything in this video. However, the link will be below. Thank you for watching. Tell me in the comment section down below whether you are updating to iOS 18 or sticking to iOS 17 or 16 for a chill break. Thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Peace out.